We're actually waiting for that, and that's a kill for them for sure. Uh, there's no way this Muffet is gonna get away. Uh, actually, you know what? He's too tanky. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> he's too tanky, he's way too tanky for them to take down in, in a matter of a few seconds. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Jinx only has an IE, but uh. Yeah, looks like they just didn't have the damage. Face the stars, Ooh, stepping it up. Yeah, doing a lot of damage, dodging that Q. <laughs> Did you miss that farm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he swung and then he walked away. MVP. <laughs> MVP, Akame! Although Evelyn's not really extend extending their lead, I think LeBlanc is. Yeah, LeBlanc is definitely trying his best. Uh, to just harass the enemy and get more kills, showing his dominance. He should be honestly. He should be walking around the map and warding and killing people. That's what that's what should be happening right now. But instead, they're they're kind of trying to push and farm. Like if you look at the ward right now, press F1. Um, there's no wards on the top side jungle. Yeah. Meanwhile, if you press F2, uh, look at the red team's ward. They have they have wards in every important position. Oh? No, we're next in trying to fight the Malphite. Obviously nothing's gonna happen there. I don't e I don't even know why this directed camera is going top lane. <laughs> uh there's there's the engage by the Morgana oh, two and chains? well yeah two chains, but uh Morgana doing tons of damage, landing that amazing oh. binding with the full Wait. combo, killing that LeBlanc with that last tick of ignite. Silver. Silver trying to kill, or well, try to do a little bit of damage to this to the Evelyn, but uh, Evelyn obviously just turns around and punches her. Oh, this face. is not looking good. Yep, uh, it's quite good a messy knowledge. fight. Uh, looks like Tron Elite will get taken down by the Silver. Looking great for the. I don't even know which team is winning at this point. Okay, there we go. Yeah, but <laughs> just takes down uh, two of the uh, red team's mem members but then uh, Kite for Life doing a lot of damage to the Renekton. Renekton gonna take down Kite for Life way too far and Lucas takes down uh, Alistar for the 4-4 four 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 exchange. Actually no, that was a 3-4-4 four four exchange. That was a 4-5 uh, in favor of the red team. Uh, if LeBlanc was there they would have get they would have gotten wrecked. For sure. Well, Renekton's even powerful. Yeah, Renekton's really strong. He just went in there, killed Silver. Silver does not have enough damage to take him down yet. Even though he has no armor whatsoever. Bro, I can't change songs while just, well, in the <laughs> game, yo. Oh, he hooked it, right? Are you guys, your favorite songs? I'm surprised Morgana can still solo a LeBlanc. Yeah, well Morgana, yeah, look at look at the items. Uh, he has a Negatron cloak and a Zonia, so <laughs> he can sustain a little bit of damage while, you know, Morgana's base damage is pretty high. And if you land the full combo with the Ignite... Uh, painful. Yeah, definitely. Very painful. Because the pool does a lot of damage as well, and the snare does a lot of damage, and obviously the ult. And if you land the snare, the pool is obviously gonna take a lot. It looks like they're rotating the dragon. Yep, they get that skull trap in like two seconds. Oh, Malphite was there earlier. They're doing a lot of damage to dragon, taking so it down fast. very, very quickly. Uh, their first dragon, congratulations, Rich Kid Gaming. They're they're really uh, showing their dominance this game. <laughs> Look is it their first dragon? Like ever since? Uh, no, no, no. Last game they got one dragon. This game oh, also okay. they got one dragon. Uh, so far. But with this lead, I think they can get more dragons uh, later if they don't, um, you know, end yeah. the game right now or if they don't get owned. Because <laughs> if they just kill the LeBlanc, the rest of them will fall. 
And the Blanc falls off late. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, then they have to focus on the Jinx when LeBlanc falls off. But even then, LeBlanc does a lot of damage because with the W, you know, and that mimic. Yeah, the the mimic W it just it's very very a lot of AOE damage, and she has that Luden's Echo as well. Two hundred farm on that Renekton. First dragon this game, come on. <laughs> Stop that BM please. Oh it's Tron Elite, right? I call I, I call him Tron Light. <laughs> Tron Light, maybe? Tron Light. Oh wow. <laughs> uh shout out to Tron Light over here. <laughs> Tron Light. I swear to god it was Tron Light. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, who knows? It might be Tron Light. Maybe I'm just saying it wrong. <laughs> but Tron Elite sounds way legit. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> Tron Light. Tron is just ghetto. Tron Light. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Tron Light. The Jinx two one and six one nine nine CS right now. <laughs> Doing really well, kiting the enemy while killing people. The only time he died was that fight right there. Tron Light. <laughs> What up, Tron Light? I hope you're watching this or listening to this at least. Tyrone Light. <laughs> Tyrone Light, baby. <Hey. laughs> Blue team's awarding is getting better. Yep. Yeah, that is true. They finally decided to put down some epic wards. Yeah, they do have really good war coverage now. Uh, meanwhile, red team also have has really good ward coverage. I like how everyone has a pink ward on the map. Mm. Uh, well, on red team at least, like, or in their inventory. That's how it should be, because everyone is limited to one pink ward, uh, laid down at a time. So everyone should have a pink ward down at a time. Like make it safe. Oh look at that. that! A banshees. Yeah, the banshee saved her life. Otherwise, that would have been a beautiful pink ward bait. He must be crying in joy for that banshee. <laughs> like, oh my god, thank you, banshee gods, aka Rito. We're not seeing much impact. What do you mean? Like, um, blue team. Oh, You're I not see. really focused on objectives. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if blue team, if blue team focuses on, ob if they go, they could, they could pull a baron right now. Yeah, <laughs> you already saw dragon too. Yeah. Dragon they just took it down so fast, but uh, I think for Baron uh, they need to kill one or two of their the enemy uh, members because if they yeah, if they just go in with that uh, LeBlanc uh, killing off like one or two of them, she can just oh see he's right there he could kill uh -oh. Kite for life right here Kite for life very dangerous position but staying out of out of danger. Uh, looks uh -oh. like he is gonna spot them. Kite well, okay, starts going in for that volley bear. Volley bear going to get taken down. No way he's getting chains. out of here. Two chains later. Volley bear. Their uh, smite is down. They could go down for that Baron right after taking this turret. No problem. This is looking good for yeah, blue. This is looking very good for blue. Uh, red team being quite out of position uh, on their part. I Right, like they shouldn't have gone with uh, just Volley Bear and, and uh, Sivir. They should just group up at this point because Blue Team is grouping up as well. Besides Renekton, because Renekton has teleport, he can just teleport in any time. Yeah. Yep. Captain of Wall Count. Counter gaming just taking out some words. Oh, there's Ooh, a pause nice. for some reason. Not too sure why. From who? Uh, don't know. It doesn't tell me. <laughs> mm. 
Can you see all chat? Uh, I'll check it in a second. Oh wow. I'm not quite sure why they call the BRB. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> BRB have to go washroom? No. Toilet, really? Toilet break <laughs> mid game? <laughs> GG. Must be very urgent, guys. Like peeing his pants, urgent. Because if it's not, I swear to god. <laughs> DQ both teams! No, I'm kidding. But still, I mean, guys, come on. Alright, uh, I guess I'm just gonna play some music while uh, while waiting, and turn I'll up, turn up. and I'll just mute my yeah I'll turn up the music and I'll mute myself. Welcome to the Monster Cat Podcast. <laughs> Taking you on a journey. This is Monster Cat. Welcome back to another episode of the Monster Cat Podcast. We're <laughs> continuing, and I just started thing. See, yeah, okay. They asked if they're ready. Yeah, guys, if you're gonna unpause, uh, please ask the enemy team. I will post it in the in the group description, just in case. But uh, yeah, just have some courtesy. Ask the enemy team if they're ready. Uh, besides, uh, before unpausing. Just clearing some words, preparing for dragon. It is live now. Uh, looks like uh, the rockets from the oh other side from Jinxus is gonna decimate the dragon, and they will get the dragon. If you compare the farm to blue team and red team, ooh. <laughs> yeah, wow. Blue team, uh, at least Renekton has a lot more farm than uh, Malphite, but uh, yeah, and Evelyn has a little more farm than uh, than Volibear, about 30. But Morgana has 10 more than LeBlanc, and uh, ADCs are just, just 5 farm difference, not really a, diff not really a big deal. But uh, this Nautilus is definitely winning uh, against the Alistar, by a big difference, you can, you can tell. 40, 40 to 36. But yeah, Rich Kid Gaming have a uh, have a have a nice almost 10k gold advantage right now. Four turret difference. Last game, it was them getting pushed in. It's the other way around. Yeah, now it's the other way around. While they were pushing that butt. <laughs> yep, uh, he does not have teleport or anything like that, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Could have went in. I guess he's trying to split them up because um, because he knows that they cannot win a team fight right now. A smart decision on this point. On his that clear. Yep. He's he's probably gonna get this actually in bot lane. Let's oh, oh this looks like uh, Chase of Stars will oh get that two chains wow. on top of the uh, Nautilus. So, but bot lane turret will fall. Tier two turret. Getting it, picking up that third turret for the for the red team. 